Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. In this video, I'm doing more weird routing and effects stuff. I'm using Rhea Surround as a effect router. So I've got four separate tracks with different effects chains, and I'm using the Rhea Surround plugin to choose which track I'm sending to. So it's a different way of thinking, and it's kind of fun. So let's start out by listening to the drum loop that I'm going to affect. Nothing too special. Let's run it through this processing chain. And that's pretty chaotic, of course, but let's try out the different chains. So let's go to track A. And that track processing chain is re-EQ, re-pitch using one of my presets that I shared with the newsletter, and a uh, delay 25 milliseconds on the right side, panned left and right here. That's chain A. And let's check out chain B. And this is just one of the stock presets, the humanizer. Chain C is here. And another one of my presets for glitchy uh, drum loops in re-pitch. And then a reverb. And the last chain, an EQ, and a reverb. So how did I set this up? Let's start with the routing first because it's a little less confusing. Uh, but basically this is a four channel track. Uh, it's not going to the main out. It's sending four mono outs into four separate tracks. So audio one is going to input one and two of track A. Two is going to track B. Three goes to C. Four goes to D. Uh, these are all pre-fader post effects sending no MIDI to any of these. In Rear Surround, it was pretty complicated. Uh, it was one of my first times using this plugin, and I think I'm using it in a way that's not really intended. But I got this idea from an article on designingsound.org. It was this article, a plugin vector matrix from Charles Maines. He's using the surround panner in Pro Tools to send to different plugin chains. He's sending to five different tracks I thought I'd set it up with four because I like the four quadrants in the resurround plugin. So what we're looking at here is input channels one, and then it's going to four speakers. Then I positioned the four speakers so that they are equally spaced in the corners. And then I adjusted the diffusion level for the input to equally send to all four of these and also when they are in this area, I'm only sending to this one. But anything in between, you can see how these overlap. I can actually zoom out here so you can see the four uh, shapes and how they overlap. So anyways, when you move this around, just click and drag, and you can assign it to four different effects, or you can blend the tracks that are beside each other. As I said, it's a different way of working. It opens up different possibilities, it makes you think in a different way, and it is pretty fun to work with. This was difficult to set up. I'll share a preset for you guys so that you can save some time and just get to playing around with it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for more tutorials.